Hello everyone. So we are beginning this tutorial by putting primer all over the eyes. I am using my NYX eyeshadow base primer and I'm applying it everywhere. And I had covered Lily's eyebrows already with some concealer. So and I'm also going to apply some of the primer on top of her eyebrows as well. Make sure to get under the eye. Next we are applying the shadow to the crease. I mix Half Baked and Buck from Naked One Palette and I'm just applying a line across the crease. Now in the 30s they kind of kept with a soft neutral color. So this is going to appear kind of soft. And on the lid I am applying Naked with a little bit of a shimmer on top. The eyelids were normally just a, um, a little bit softer than the crease because they wanted the focus to be on the eyebrows and the lips. And make sure to apply it everywhere. On a lid of this. And I'm just taking Virgin from my Naked One and I'm applying it on top of the, I'm blending the brow bone area. I'm applying it on top of the brows as well because I want to blend everything in. And I'm applying Half Baked underneath. Also, I'm taking my NYX eyeliner in white and I'm applying it only on the waterline. Now at this point, I am applying my foundation and my primer. Not in that order, of course. You want to put your primer on first. And um, I had already applied falsies on her eyes. So while that's drying, I'm applying the primer. The primer I used on her was uh, Glow by e.l.f. Cosmetics. And then I'm just applying her foundation, which is also from Elf Cosmetics in sand in her color. So, the way they were contoured in the 30s was they wanted it to appear as if their cheeks were hollowed out. So it was actually a heavy contour, especially on Marlene Dietrich. Um, she wanted her cheekbones to really stand out. So I'm actually applying contour a little heavier than normal. And I'm kind of making the shape around her cheekbones in the front instead of making the usual line. And I'm just using the soft color to put on top of the underneath her eyes and to show out the cheekbones. I am then applying pink blush from the apple of the cheeks and I'm slowly extending it back. And then I'm just putting a little bit of Blush Gems Highlighter, which is a pink highlighter. Now, fun fact, Marlene Dietrich actually shaved off her own eyebrows and then drew them on ultra thin in a rounded arch, just two round thin lines. So, and she kept them very dark. So I can't shave off Lily's eyebrows. So instead, I am just concealing them and making the line and apparently bring it into my camera. Now the lips were drawn on to be wide and heavily emphasized in the top part. And let me tell you, this was such a difficult process for me. Um, not to mention, I actually moved the camera in a different area, so I had a really bad angle to do this. But um, the top part of the lip, the point came really low, and it was drawn wide, and then the bottom lip wasn't fulled out. It was actually made to be a little bit smaller, the shape. But the top part was made very heavily emphasized. And I had to make it appear very wide. And I'm doing this with red eyeliner from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Did I say eyeliner? I hope I didn't say eyeliner. Just in case I did, lip liner. And I'm filling it in with cranberry. Uh, matte lip color. I'm a little off tonight. And I'm going in with concealer to fix any mistakes. To try to make it appear just thin a little bit on the bottom. The illusion here is to make her mouth wide. I'm just applying like a berry lip gloss on top of it. The lip color we don't want to go too dark or too bright. We just want to keep it like a neutral soft red. Like an apple red. When you're always away, I can't be kept 
I'm going back in with concealer to fix any mistakes. And going back in with my lip gloss to fix any mistakes. So now I am just applying my finishing powder from Kiko Cosmetics. And then I'm going to spray my matte uh, NYX finishing spray. And here she is, guys. So, the 1940s makeup is also kind of similar to the 30s, so I thought maybe to try and transition from the 30s to the 40s. Let's give it a shot. I'm actually a little bit inspired by Heidi Lamar in this look from one of her photos. So I kept the makeup on, I removed the eyebrows and the lips because the eyebrows were a little bit thicker this time around. And Heidi had also a dark eyebrow, but she kept her arch kind of rounded. I don't know why Lily's dancing. <laughs> but yeah, she kept her eyebrows a little bit more rounded than, um, but at the same time kind of thick. So I'm just mixing a black and a brown because I don't want the color to be so contrast. Heidi had black hair, so it kind of worked with her. But um, it won't really work so great on Lily with um, her light color hair. And also for the lips, they were made fuller and, and more kissable actually. It was like a, um, they were heavily drawn on to emphasize the width of the mouth. And also they made a very well shaped bow to the upper lip. But the bottom lip wasn't as wide as Marlene's was. It was more full. So we're kind of making the lips full, um, fuller. So I'm using like a fire engine red lip color from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm just filling it in. During the 40s, when food was even rationed, makeup was actually really scarce. And people mostly focused on hairstyles. So this is around the time where the, uh, the phrase put on a brave face came on. And women focus on their faces in a more subtle way than they did their hair and this was the look so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'm looking forward to bringing you the 50s Yay!